Hi everyone, my name is Lachan with Power Life Hypnosis and this is your mid-February 2017 Love and Romance Lenormand Prediction and Oracle Guidance Reading. As always, I would like to say thank you so much to everyone who has thumbs up and liked my videos, who has shared my videos and subscribed to my channel. I, as always, appreciate the support so much. I would not like to go into a whole long thing in the beginning of this reading, so if you would like to book a private reading with me, please email me at powerlifehypnosis at gmail.com. Also, I have had a wonderful time helping you guys locate your lost items this month, so if you also need help looking for a lost item, locating a lost item, please email me at powerlifehypnosis at gmail.com and I would be happy to help you locate your items. Please check your moon, sun, and rising sign videos because this video is for millions of cancers, so the messages may or may not resonate with you. And if they do not resonate with you, please come back next month. And if they do, I would really love to hear how they do. You will know if they do or if they don't when you hear the reading. So if they do, I would love to hear how this reading resonates with you. Okay, everybody, so let's get started. So what I did this time is I pulled three cards for your Lenormand prediction, and I pulled three cards for your Oracle guidance reading and took the card on the bottom of the deck for the overall energy of the spread. So for your Lenormand reading, the cards that I got first were the Lady, the Heart, and the Gentleman. And I know I didn't show you guys these cards from my last readings. I actually made them. I love these cards. As you can see, I don't own the rights to these images because I didn't design Lady and the Tramp. But um, I did make these cards and I love them. So what I can see here is a very straightforward message with these three cards. And this is saying, Cancers, that in uh, mid-February 2017, some of you are going to be possibly falling in love, entering a new romantic relationship, strengthening your bond with your partner. And you really can't have a more perfect romance spread, actually, because there's lady, the heart, which symbolizes love and unity and romance and faithfulness and happiness. And the gentleman. So regardless of if you are in a male-female relationship or whatever type of relationship that you are in, this can just represent the more female partner, more female um, feminine energy, more masculine energy. But it looks like those of you who have the more feminine energy will be entering a relationship with a male or those who are male uh, or who are or more masculine energy may have someone suiting them or someone showing them love in the month of February 2017, mid-February 2017. So I see romantic partnerships going well, and I see singles meeting someone or falling for someone or just having a lot of happiness and bliss in the romantic relationships in mid-February. So congratulations. I'm a Cancer too, so I'm really excited to hear that news. All right, so now I'm going to show the oracle cards that I pulled for you, Cancers. And the card on the bottom of the deck that came out is, let's see if you guys can see that. There we go. Okay, come to the edge. And come to the edge is in the reverse position. So this card resonates a six, seven, eight, nine. It's card number 36. So it resonates a nine energy. And this card actually came out, of course, in the reverse, but in the upright, this card is speaking to coming to the edge of your comfort zone. Come to the edge symbolizes taking a leap of faith, taking a first, not a, well, yes, it could be a first step, but a leap, leap of faith, something that you may be afraid to do, showing courage and knowing that spirit, God, your higher power will support you either way. 
in whatever you're doing. And come to the edge in the reverse is saying that because this card resonates in nine energies, re resonates uh, with endings. So there could have been an ending that has happened recently in which it's causing you to have some fear and some trepidations. It could be that because of this fear, you are hesitant about something in your love and relationships. You are hesitant to make a first move. You are hesitant to go to the edge of your comfort zone. So it could be something is holding you back, some type of fear. And one thing about fear is fear represents false evidence appearing real so there could be something from your past that's keeping you held back keeping you afraid and you may be afraid to move forward in your love and relationships in the month of 2017 in the month of february mid-february 2017 and for some of you i'm getting that this could be the way you look at love the way you perceive love the way you perceive yourself in love and the type of self-love that you deserve or the type of love that you deserve from others that's a message that I got for some of you. So these messages that I get, they're not for everyone. They're going to be for a select few of you. So the next card that we have here that also came out in the reverse is regeneration. And regeneration in the upright resonates a... So it's a 10 energy, which is an ending and a new beginning. So it could be that there's an ending that needs to happen with this come to the edge. So there's an ending that has happened. And then now you're in a phase where there's a new beginning. But it looks like there's some work that needs to be done in this new beginning because this car came out in the reverse position. And regeneration, when it's in the upright, it refers to starting something over so it's an ending and a new beginning that's happening something dies something no longer needed something no longer useful to you ends so again it could be the way that you view yourself your love your worth and things like that in relationships with this come to the edge card but because this is a general reading this can deal with many different scenarios so just apply this to your own situation so the regeneration card again has to do with endings and new beginnings and in the upright in the um the protection message for this card what i'm saying is so there could have been something recently that happened to you that caused an ending, but it's causing some fear to move forward. It's causing some fear to regenerate. This is a period where you are possibly starting to regenerate. You're starting to move forward, but I can see some hesitation to regenerate because of holding on to something in the past, especially because this did come out in the past position. This is the first card that I pulled. So this is the past position. So there could be some fear that's keeping you moving forward for whatever reason. And the next card that I picked out here for you is why. Let's see if you can see it. Okay, so this is why card. And it also, the why card and it also came out in the reverse and this card resonates a four energy which has to do with stability so there's an ending there's a beginning and now we're working towards stability here and this card the why in the reverse is saying to look at what it is that is holding you back look at what it is that is keeping you from moving forward if there's something that is holding you back from coming to the edge, if there's something that is keeping you stuck, something that is keeping you in the past, this is saying to really take a look at whatever that is. Maybe spend some time by yourself, studying, reading, writing, thinking, but really think about what it is that is holding you back. Why? you are choosing to stay stuck. If you are choosing to stay stuck and maybe, maybe denying that you're staying stuck. And if you are, really take a look at that. Really take a look at that because 
this is going to help you move forward in your love and romantic relationships right now. Anything that's keeping you stuck, whether you be in a relationship or single, trying to find somebody new. Again, with the Lenormand cards, we have the lady, the heart, and the gentleman. So if you are in the process of meeting someone new or entering a new relationship, it could be a good idea to think about why past beliefs are in your head right now why past beliefs are affecting you right now what past beliefs are affecting you right now and that's also very important because the last card that i have here for you cancers is i love this card clean it up clean it up and it came out in the upright which to me is just saying Whatever these issues are that you are having, spend some time thinking about it so you can get rid of it. You got to clean these thoughts up. So clean it up deals with cleaning out mental, emotional, environmental, psychological, any kind of clutter and unwanted, unneeded things, things that no longer serve you. So if you know that there's something that is keeping you stuck in the past. I'm going to come to the edge card, keeping you stuck in the past. If there's something that's keeping you stuck in the past, something that's not allowing you to move forward to become involved in the type of relationship that you really want. Say you are in a situation, this is for some of you, say you are in a situation where you find this person that you really like and that you really care for and that you um, have high hopes about or feel very positively about, but you can be having some fears because of what has happened to you in the past. And this is saying that this is a time to be reborn. This is a time to be reborn. Ask yourself why you are holding on to these things of the past because these things are in the past. They're no longer needed. They're no longer serving you. You know, the past is an illusion and the future is an illusion. We are here in the now. So ask why those things are affecting you now. And if they need to be affecting you now, if you have any kind of, um, I don't want to say issues, but any kind of um, negative feelings or experiences that you've been holding on to in the past, this can also be a good idea to think about why those types of things happen to you is something that I'm getting for some of you. Why those things happen to you? How those things happen to you and not and how not to let them happen again in the future what you can do differently from now on so all in all i think the best message here is again the clean it up move forward okay if you have some things that are in your mind from the past that can be affecting your relationships now know that that time is over whatever these issues are are over they're in the past, they no longer serve you, and now is the time to clean them up, okay? Because this is your life, this is your time, and if there are any things in the, future, any things in the past that have had a negative effect on you, they have no place in your future. And sometimes, this is a message for some of you that I'm getting, sometimes we may think that we are a victim of our circumstance, or we may think that the past, we may filter our present through the past. However, in all situations, that's not what's the most conducive to us at this time. We may have had bad things happen to us in our past, but that doesn't mean that we will have bad things happen to us again in our future. So now's the time to clean things up, clean these things up so you can move forward in mid-February and you can enjoy this love and this relationship and this romance that is so clearly set up for you here. So enjoy that. Um, again, I'm a Cancer, so I'm really excited about this and I, I feel like this totally resonates with me. So I hope that it does with you all as well. Those are the messages that I have for you guys. Please thumbs up and like this video if these messages resonate with you. Please share this video and please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. I wish you all the best of luck in the ending part of 
February, and I'm looking so forward to seeing you again soon. Again, if you would like to put, book a private reading with me, please email me at powerlifehypnosis at gmail.com. If you need help finding something, please email me, powerlifehypnosis at gmail.com. And also, if you have not entered my February drawing, please do so. I'm doing a free reading for a subscriber each month. All the details are in the description box below. So please check those out when you are finished watching this video. Alrighty, Cancers, I will see you all again soon. Thanks, bye.